Welcome back, folks. We are now going to get started on the actual game. So, click New Game. First, for combat difficulty, I'm going to select Realistic. I've always thought it was very clever to name the hardest setting Realistic, and it is, in fact, Realistic. Getting shot in the head or chest kills you. Pretty straightforward. So, your code name will be JC Denton, and that's how people will refer to you, but you do get the opportunity to type your real name, and awesomely enough, it does make appearances throughout the game. I'll leave my appearance at the default. My name is Travis Whitsitt, in case you didn't know that. Now, there's another glitch here you can take advantage of if you're so inclined. You can downgrade weapons pistol to untrained and get an extra 1575 skill points. But when you do start the game, even though you get those extra skill points, pistol jumps back up to trained. I want to keep it trained anyway, and that feels a little bit like cheating to just get 1575 skill points out of the blue. So I'm not going to do it, but if you don't mind, the glitch is there for you to use. The things we're going to upgrade should be obvious. We get 5,000 skill points here at the beginning. The upgrades should be obvious if you listen to my discussion in training. I'm going to train electronics, lock picking, and computer to start off with. That leaves me with 275 skill points to spare to start out with. And let's click start and watch the intro. Your appointment to FEMA should be finalized within the week. I've already discussed the matter with the Senator. I take it he was agreeable? He didn't really have a choice. Has he been infected? Oh yes, most certainly. When I mentioned that we could put him on the priority list for the Ambrosia vaccine, he was so willing it was almost pathetic. This plague, the rioting, is intensifying to the point where we may not be able to contain it. Why contain it? Let it spill over into the schools and churches. Let the bodies pile up in the streets. In the end, they'll beg us to save them. I've received reports of armed attacks on shipments. There's not enough vaccine to go around, and the underclasses are starting to get desperate. Of course they're desperate. They can smell their death, and the sound they'll make rattling their cage will serve as a warning to the rest. Hmm. I hope you're not underestimating the problem. The others may not go as quietly as you think. Intelligence indicates they're behind the problems in Paris. A bunch of pretentious old men playing at running the world. But the world left them behind long ago. We are the future. We have other problems. UNATCO? Formed by executive order after the terrorist strike on the statue. I have someone in place, though. I'm more concerned about Savage. He's relocated to Vandenberg. Our biochem corpus is far in advance of theirs, as is our electronic sentience. And their ethical inflexibility has allowed us to make progress in areas they refuse to consider. The augmentation project? Among other things, but I must admit that I have been somewhat disappointed in the performance of the primary unit. The secondary unit should be online soon. It's currently undergoing preparation and will be operational within six months. My people will continue to report on its progress. Necessary, the primary will be terminated. We've had to endure much, you and I, but soon it will order again. A new age. Aquinas spoke of the mythical city on the hill. Soon that city will be a reality, and we will crown its kings. Not better than kings. Gods. So here we are. Liberty Island, New York, UNATCO headquarters. Talk to our UNATCO boat pilot. My orders are to stay here. Uh, I'd let the bots do the fighting if I were you. I'm glad this thing has bulletproof glass. My orders are to stay here. All right. Heads up, JC. Your brother Paul is on his way to meet you at the dock. The NSF is raiding the island and shots have been fired. I repeat, find Paul. I will monitor your situation from HQ. Hey, you can see Paul running for us now, so I'll just let him get here and we'll talk to him. Paul, I thought you were in Hong Kong. Welcome to the Coalition, JC. I might as well start using your code name. Think I'd miss my brother's first day? Didn't think you'd have a choice. What's going on? The NSF. 
They hit one of our shipments. A few of them got away, but we trapped the rest in the statue. What are we waiting for? Looks like a textbook assault. The NSF took one of our agents hostage. The bots are holding the perimeter, but my orders are to hold back and send you in alone. I think someone high up wants to see how you handle the situation. All I've got with me is a pistol and an electric prod. I don't mind a test, but UNACO better issue some hardware. Remember that we're police. Stick with the prod. It'll stun your opponents or knock them unconscious. A non-lethal takedown is always the most silent way to eliminate resistance. Just in case, though, Manderly wants you to pick an additional weapon. A sniper rifle, a gep gun, or a mini crossbow. The crossbow. Sometimes you've got to make a silent takedown. Good thinking. With these tranquilizer darts, you'll have another non-lethal way to take down an enemy in addition to the prod. I get the idea. What's the first move? I'm going to give you a map of the island. If you can get to the North Dock, a UNATCO informant will give you a key to the statue doors. He responds to the code phrase, iron and copper. You could avoid a lot of fighting, though, if you found a back way to the statue. I'll see how it looks on shore. Your primary objective is the makeshift command center the terrorists have installed at the top of the statue, but don't forget about Agent Herman. We think he's being held on the ground floor. What are my orders when I reach the command center? Interrogate the leader. We don't yet know why the terrorists would risk an open assault. So with that, we'll finish talking to Paul in a moment, but let's read flavor text for all our new gear, first of all. Riot Prod. <clears throat> Weapon Stats. Ammo. Charger. Four rounds. Ammo Loaded. Prod Charger. Ammo Types. Prod Charger. Base Damage 15. Clip Size. Four rounds. Rate of Fire Single. 1.0 rounds per second. Reload Time 3.0 seconds. Recoil 0.0. Base accuracy 75%, accurate range 5 feet, maximum range 5 feet, mass 10 pounds, laser sight NA, scope NA, silencer NA, skill, weapons low tech. The riot prod has been extensively used by security forces who wish to keep what remains of the crumbling piece and have found the prod to be, an, be a valuable tool. Its short range tetanizing effect is most effective when applied to the torso or when the subject is taken by surprise. Prod charger, a portable charging unit for the riot prod. Med Kit, a first aid kit. Unat Co op's file note JR095 Violet. The nanomachines of an augmented agent will automatically metabolize the contents of a med kit to efficiently heal damaged areas. An agent with medical training could greatly expedite this process. Jaime Reyes, end note. Use to heal critical body parts or use on character screen to direct healing at a certain body part. And Mini Crossbow, weapon stats. Ammo, tranquilizer dart, dart, flare darts. Ammo loaded, tranquilizer darts. Ammo types, tranquilizer darts, darts, and flare darts. Base damage, 25 plus 10% equals 27. That's for pistols trained. Clip size, 4 rounds. Rate of fire, single 1.2 rounds per second. Reload time, 2.0 seconds. Recoil, 0.0. .0. Base accuracy, 60% plus 5% equals 65%. Accurate range, 50 feet. Maximum range, 100 feet. Mass 15 pounds, laser sight no, scope no, silencer NA, skill weapons pistol. The mini crossbow was specifically developed for espionage work and accepts a range of dart types, normal, tranquilizer, or flare, that can be changed depending upon the mission requirements. Tranquilizer darts. A mini crossbow dart tipped with a succinylcholine variant that causes completely complete skeletal muscle relaxation, effectively incapacitating a target in a non-lethal manner. Nothing new here or here or here. Goals and notes. Primary goals. The NSF seem to be directing the attack from the statue, get inside and locate the threat. Secondary goals. Meet UNATCO informant Harley Philbin at the North Docks. He has a key to the statue doors. One of UNATCO's top agents is being held inside the statue. Break him out and he'll back you up against the NSF. Now, I'm going to incapacitate everybody on the island. You don't have to go out of your way to do that, but it seems nice since anyone we don't incapacitate gets murdered by UNATCO after we go through, so we're actually saving their lives by knocking them out now. So... We have our image, the Liberty Island satellite photo. Pretty straightforward. We're here at the south dock. On the west side of the island is UNATCO HQ. The east side has the Liberty statue ruins. And up on the north side, we have the north dock. Okay, let's finish. Let's keep talking to Paul now. You just gonna stay here? There's been some activity at sea. I'm going to watch the coast. Why'd they bring you back to New York? I don't know what they have planned. I messed up an assassination attempt on one of the triad leaders in Hong Kong. Unatco pulled you out. It's a long story. You better head to the statue. Which triad was Unatco targeting? We'll talk about that later. How was your graduation? I want to hear what happened. I wish I could have come. 
At the time, I could have cared less that Mom and Dad came to mind, but it was a good thing. The UN threw a dinner in honor of me, the first nano-augmented agent. I didn't know that. Guess I must be old news. Dad made a toast. I don't know if you remember his old brown suit. A toast? That doesn't sound like our father. It was hard for him in front of the diplomats, but he savored every moment. Strange how proud he could be when so much was due to... our augmentations. Yes, he was proud. I believe that much. It was nice to have done something for him and Mom. I wish someone could have been there for you. I'm used to being on my own. One can be too self-sufficient, I'm coming to believe. So, I'm gonna keep talking to Paul till he starts repeating himself. For some reason... The best thing is to let the bots handle the ground assault. He doesn't react to right-clicking like he should. When we get close to the soldier up there, he'll have some things to say to us, too. You might be able to find some supplies in the comm van by the helipad. He'll talk to us when we get close. What's your take on the situation, Corporal? The bots have them bottled up, sir. We'd go right in if it weren't for the whole back order. How'd they get one of our agents? Gunter went rogue on us. When the order came, he wouldn't pull back. Now you get to bail him out. Yeah. Hard to believe this rock used to be a tourist attraction, huh? Don't worry, we'll go back and listen to everything else uh, Corporal Collins has to say. Way up I'll there. I'll keep watching on this side of the island. Way up there, you can see our first NSF terrorist. The bot doesn't say anything. You might be able to find some supplies in the comm van by the helipad. Okay, Paul's repeating himself now, so let's talk to the corporal. Welcome aboard, Agent. They come this way, I got them, sir. He does react to right clicking. Well, thankfully. I certainly see the family resemblance. Those rebels are no match for our bots. Welcome aboard, Agent. So we've got a couple of new items here on the dock. We have a soda and a 40. So, soda. The can is blank except for the phrase product placement here. It is unclear whether this is a name or an invitation. So I'll drop that. I have no need for it. 40. Cold sweat, 40 ounce malt liquor. Never let them see your cold sweat. Drop that too. I have no use for them. Over here is something I do have use for. A crowbar. Let's break open these crates. Binoculars we haven't had before. A pair of military binoculars. I have no need for those either, so I'll lose them. That one has a lockpick, which we obviously do need. Next. Here, I'm going to do a real save here to mark the start of the first level. Down in the water, you can find two more crates. Inside one of them is a multi-tool. When you're underwater, your oxygen meter appears in the upper left next to your body. And in this crate, we have a bioelectric cell, our first one. So let's look at that. A bioelectric cell provides efficient storage of energy in a form that can be utilized by a number of different devices. UNATCO Ops file JR289-Violet. Augmented agents have been equipped with an interface that allows them to transparently absorb energy from bioelectric cells. Jaime Reyes, end note. Recharges 25 energy units. Awesome. Let's roll up here now. Go over to these combat supply crates. See what we can find in each of them. NSF everywhere, JC. Your orders are to shoot on sight. A UNATCO informant on the north dock can get you inside the statue. Look for a bum. Identify yourself with the phrase iron and copper. So in here we find a prod charger. In here we find some 10 millimeter ammo. In here we find normal darts. Let's read about those right quick. The mini crossbow dart is a favored weapon for many wet operations. However, silent kills require a high degree of skill. All right. Let's get our pro Let's get our prod out and move on up here. Uh-oh. 
keep well back of the terrorist for now. Let's watch him and see where he goes. I want to get both of these guys. There's this one patrolling here and that one over to the right. If you want to make a covert approach, remember the Academy Stealth Course. Stay out of their field of view, walk slowly to stay quiet, and crouch behind cover. Or if you have to get your hands dirty, remember that a headshot is a lethal takedown. Oops. It is important, if possible, to bag these guys. If you want to make a covert approach, remember the Academy Stealth Course. Stay out of their field of view, walk slowly to stay quiet, and crouch behind cover. Or if you have to get your hands dirty, remember that a headshot is a lethal takedown. If you can get them unawares, and aim your prod right at the small of their back like I did, you can usually get them in one shot. So he had a combat knife, which... I'm actually, I'll take that as my uh, melee weapon because uh, it only takes up one inventory space, which is nice. And 10 millimeter ammo, which we already had. You have to empty your hands in order to carry a body. That's important to remember. Let's go take down the other guy now. I want to get both of them to make sure that the bots don't kill either of them. So you want to get them pretty fast. So get right up next to the guy, aim right at the small of his back, and he should go down in one shot. So he um, he had some 10 millimeter ammo for us, which is fine. Carry his body away and hide it. All he had for us was 10 millimeter ammo, so no worries there. We should be out of range of anybody now. Let's search the trooper's bodies. He has a pepper gun, which is useless, but let's read about it. Pepper gun, weapon stats, ammo, pepper cartridge, one round. Ammo loaded, pepper cartridge, ammo types, pepper cartridge, base damage zero, clip size 100 rounds, rate of fire auto 13.3 rounds per second, reload time 4.0 seconds, recoil 0.0, .0 base accuracy 65%, accurate range 6 feet, maximum range 6 feet, mass 7 pounds, laser sight NA, scope NA, silencer NA, skill weapons low tech. The pepper gun will accept a number of commercially available riot control agents in cartridge form and disperse them as a fine aerosol mist that can cause blindness or blistering at short range. Pepper cartridge. Antigone pepper spray will incapacitate your attacker in under two seconds. Antigone, let better blind than dead. Note, keep away from children under the age of five, contents under pressure. And I don't actually want to carry it, so we'll drop it. Let's search the other body now. He's got a baton, cigarettes, and a candy bar. Those are all new. With the arrival of the baton, the knife is now useless to me. The baton is non-lethal, which is important. Baton, weapon stats, ammo types NA, base damage 7, clip size NA, rate of fire, reload time NA, all NA, recoil 0.0. .0. Base accuracy 50%, accurate range NA, maximum range NA, mass 10 pounds, laser sight scope, silence are all NA, skill, weapons low tech. A hefty looking baton typically used by riot police and national security forces to discourage civilian resistance. If you run out of charger ammo, you can knock guys out with the baton, which is nice. Cigarettes. Coughing nails when you've just got to have a cigarette. And the candy bar. Choco Lent Dream. It's chocolate. It's people. It's both. Trademark. 85% recycled material. This, we actually do want to hold on to. So keep the candy bar in your inventory. Now, with all that done, let's get up on top here first to get this combat supply crate. We can just bring it down, break it open with our baton. 
Inside we find a gas grenade. Another non-lethal option, we'll want to carry, collect these and keep them in our inventory, so... Weapon, gas grenade, weapon stats, ammo types NA, base damage 0, clip size, rate of fire, reload time NA, recoil 0.0, .0 base accuracy 50%, accurate range NA, maximum range NA, mass 5 pounds, laser sight, scope, silencer, all NA, skill, weapons, demolition. Upon detonation, the gas grenade releases a large amount of CS, a military-grade tear gas agent, over its area of effect. CS will cause irritation to all, exposed, to all exposed mucous membranes, leading to temporary blindness and uncontrolled coughing. Like a lamb, gas grenades can be attached to any surface. What it doesn't tell you is that it will eventually knock enemies unconscious if allowed to work its magic. So, if you're interested, you can see this Unatco Med Lab tab. If you want to pick the lock here, you can do it with one pick, and there's a med bot inside. I don't want to waste the lock pick, I have no need for the med bot. So, with that done, let's continue onward. I'm gonna turn right and head to the east to start off with. So you can see another terrorist over there, but what you can also see is a TNT crate. What are you doing with a TNT crate in a non-lethal walkthrough? Well, it's simple. I'm gonna blow open this panel, save myself the ammunition. So, if you throw a TNT crate while crouched, you'll be fine. If you throw it standing up, it will explode. God! I took damage from that, but that's no problem, because there's a med bot sitting right here. Always be alert to the possibility of using explosives to get through doors. Lock picks are a precious commodity, and you don't want you want to save them whenever you possibly can. So, let's watch that terrorist now. Like his buddy, I want to sneak up behind him and get him with my riot prod if I can. Although now that I have the baton, I may want to try to use that instead, although with weapons low-tech untrained, I don't think I can get him in one shot with it. Oh yeah, let's, let's just use the prod. As before, just get right up next to him, jab it into the small of his back. Oh, too far away. And I hit his lower body instead of the small. No worry, we'll quick load. Thankfully, we're back to that being near instantaneous. It got to be such a pain in Thief 3. Of course, as we move back into newer games, load times will go back up, such is the way of things. Okay. They won't hear you running on I know on I heard loading. something. They found us. I was gonna say they won't hear you running on grass, but I was wrong. They will, it just takes a little time. Here, let's take advantage of this hardcover and bag him that way. I just wait here until he turns. Get right in here and save his life. Because the troopers come through after you get to the top of the statue and they kill anyone you've left standing, so. 10 millimeter ammo and a combat knife. Still have no interest in a combat knife. As you'll notice, our inventory is pretty limited space-wise. So with him down, we've opened up a lot of space. Let's break this crate open. It's got a multi -tool, another multi-tool inside. Always handy. If we go over here, we can listen in on a conversation, much like we could in Thief. See the two guys standing here. That's the difference right there. Just take a look at him. Bad? They cut off his arm, replaced half his face. Herman, right? He's a good soldier. Killed three of our men. They'd have replaced his whole body if it would have improved performance. If that's how you judge a man, by performance, then eventually it's not about people, but upgrades, versions, functionality. 
All I know is we could use a few mechs for ops like this. Soon as we buy into the cult of the machine, we're just like them. Rhetoric. Always more rhetoric. So since they're right together, a melee takedown is not an option. So... I want to hit them both with the Trank Darts. And then get away until they drop. That's the idea. <clears throat> huh? I got this one. Just run. They shouldn't hit you. Then after the Tranks work enough, they'll start to run away. And then they drop. Nice and easy. So let's search the bodies. They're fine where they lie, which is nice. That one had a knife and more tranquilizer darts. Always good news. That one, 10 millimeter ammo and another knife. So let's reload the crossbow since we got another clip. Very nice. And let's keep going. I think we can have another conversation over here. I could be wrong though, but they look like they're going to talk to each other, standing there facing each other like that. Hmm, maybe they don't. Anyway, let's get this guy with our prod, since he's made the mistake of wandering off alone. Oh, too close. Alright. New plan. Let's drop these guys with the crossbow first. Gotta move quickly, but it's not too bad. That's just pig. I missed his buddy though. And I don't want to waste the shot. Saving lives can be hard work. God damn. I'm gonna get this pig. Oh. And as always, enough time passes after the tranking and they will drop. Now we need to get these bodies out of here, so let's move quickly. Just over here behind this crate is good enough. Now what did they give me? I got some tranquilizer darts, some 10 millimeter ammo, a new knife, and a new cross crowbar, neither of which I want, so we'll drop those two things. Now I'll get this guy with my pr prod. More 10 millimeter ammo and yet another combat knife. Still don't want the knife. But <clears throat> almost every person we take down will drop one. This is the only mission. Well, that and uh, I'll do something clever when we get to the super freighter. But this, this is one of the only times in the game where I'm going to make a point of finding every guard and knocking them out. Simply because, if I don't, then the UNATCO troopers kill them all later. And I don't want to have them do that, so... 
this guy patrolling around this underground storage unit is up next. <laughs> Reload my prod right quick. I only have three charges left. I did just find another clip of Trank Darts, though, which is nice. Carry his body away, because there's another guy inside, and I have yet another knife to get rid of. Oh, well. We'll go inside this storage unit next. I think I can get in behind this guy in time. Yes, good. So he gives us more 10 millimeter ammo and another combat knife. Here is a hazmat suit, which is useless to us. Up here, on top of the crate, we can find a multi-tool. We need this metal crate. This power box must have been damaged in the raid. Don't cross through the arcs. I'm also picking up an EMP field here. If you're not careful, it'll suck away your bioelectrical energy. So, on this box is a data cube. Brother, I've set up the turrets and cameras in the statue ruins. A hasty defense, but since we won't be here long, it should work. The security computer login is NSF001. The password is smash the state. Clever. Now, I think... I don't think I can use the crate to get up there, but... What I can do is operate the forklift here. If I just hit the button, and then move quickly... I can get onto the forklift tines and then hop over the generator that way. I can avoid the arcs, not take any damage, and we've gotten two we got 250 skill points, the exploration bonus. Excellent. 525 is not enough to raise anything worth raising, so. But we'll keep it in mind. So we have some crates. Here we have a weapon modification laser. Let's look at that. A laser targeting dot eliminates any inaccuracy resulting from the inability to visually gauge a projectile's point of impact. Drag over weapon to upgrade. Weapons highlighted in green can be upgraded with this mod. So let's put it on our mini crossbow. In the general crate, we've got a new bioelectric cell. In this combat crate, we've got a weapon modification clip. An extended magazine that increases clip capacity beyond the factory default. Drag over weapon to upgrade. Weapons highlighted in green can be upgraded with this mod. I'm trying to think if there are any other non-lethal things that I can do use with this, and I'm coming up blank, so... Yeah, I'm not going to bother right now. I'm certainly not going to put it in my 10 millimeter pistol. And we can pick up the fire extinguisher. A chemical fire extinguisher. Pretty straightforward. On the ground back here is another crowbar, which we don't need. So we can pick up this metal crate. Use it to make stairs to get back over the generator. Although I have to be careful which buttons I push. And we can move on. Get out of here. And here's some 10 millimeter ammo. I'm gonna turn my light on right quick. Check out what else is back here. I remember the layout of most of the Deus Ex missions really well, but what I am having a little trouble remembering is where all the goodies are, so I should be able to find everything because I can, I'm confident in my ability to fully explore everything, but I'll have to do some running around and looking. I apologize if that bothers you. So with that, we have found our way to the North Dock. 
which we'll tackle next since it's our first objective. Down there are two more NSF troopers. It all happened an hour ago. The barge docked and the NSF moved right on in, offloading the cargo into speedboats. Our undercover man, Harley Philbin, should be somewhere out on the docks now. These guys are too close together to take down with melee, so... Let's just get them both with trank darts. If we can. I think I need to get closer, although I don't want to. Yeah, I missed. I do need to get closer. Okay. No worries. And now we're in range if I just wait long enough to aim. I'll just let the thug drop. Oh. As you can see, you die in one hit. Maybe I should try and melee these guys. Because it doesn't look like the thug moves. Get him. <laughs> then get this guy. Oh yeah, that's way easier. <laughs> but I am now out of prod chargers. So... I'm not really interested in the pistol either. I don't know why I've held on to that so long. So let's search both bodies now. This guy had more tranquilizer darts and a new crowbar. And our dead Unatco friend has cigarettes and three flares. I'm not going to hang on to those either, but flare is simply a flare. Awesome. So we'll drop all three of those. And we'll bust open these crates. You found some rockets! Nice. Rockets. A gyroscopically, a gyroscopically stabilized rocket with limited onboard guidance systems for in-flight course corrections, engineered for use with the GEP gun. And inside this one, some 30-06 ammo. I think that's everyone we have to worry about out here. So down here is a medical supply crate, which almost always has a med kit inside. There's a soda outside the shack here. Before we get to that, let's carry this TNT crate over here. I'm gonna use it to get into the sunken ship down here because Huh. Just as I write it off, I find I do have a use for the pistol after all, so I guess I will hold on to it. Well, let's go back over here to where I dropped it. Somewhere over here, right? Did I drop my pistol? Ah, there it is, next to the knife. Okay, good. Um, I'm still gonna hold off using the clip mod on it, but 
Now with the TNT crate floating out there, if I shoot it, well first of all I should be able to withdraw to a safe distance to do so. If I blow open the TNT crate, it should open up the ship's hatch without wasting any of my lockpicks. Scares my friend Harley, but no worries about that. He'll settle down eventually. Yes, the hatch is open. Good. Well, I think he'll settle down eventually. Yeah, there he goes. Good. So while he's getting back, I will show you the inside of the ship. I may take some damage here because swimming is untrained and I don't have a rebreather. But that doesn't matter much. The crates are probably open already too. You get no, they're not. You get 50 skill points for exploring down here, and there are three crates to open as well. All of them worth picking up. Yeah, we're gonna take some damage. I should be able to get up before I actually drown, though. Very good, very good. So, let's see what we have. First, we got something I'll immediately drop, but it's worth looking at. A sawed-off shotgun. Ammo loaded, 12-gauge buckshot shells. Ammo types, 12-gauge buckshot shells and 12-gauge sabo cells. Base damage, 25. Clip size, 4 rounds. Rate of fire, single, 3.3 rounds per second. Reload time, 3.0 seconds. Recoil, 0.50. Base accuracy, 70%. Accurate range, 75 feet. Maximum range, 150 feet. Mass, 15 pounds. Laser sight, NA. Scope, NA. Silencer, NA. Skill, weapons, rifle. The sawed-off pump-action shotgun features a truncated barrel resulting in a wide spread at close range and will accept either buckshot or sabo cells. 12-gauge buckshot shells. Standard 12-gauge shotgun shell, very effective for close quarters combat against soft targets, but useless against body armor. So if I tell JC to drop it, and he can't. So let's just toss that back into the water. We got two more weapon mods. Weapon modification accuracy. When clamped to the frame of most projectile weapons, a harmonic balancer will dampen the vertical motion produced by firing a projectile, resulting in increased accuracy. Inatco Ops File Note SC108-Blue Almost any weapon that has a significant amount of vibration can be modified with a balancer. I've even seen it work with the mini crossbow and a prototype plasma gun. Sam Carter, End Note. Drag over weapon to upgrade. Weapons highlighted in green can be upgraded with this mod. We will put that on our crossbow. Weapon Modification Reload. A speed loader greatly decreases the time required to reload a weapon. Drag over weapon to upgrade. Weapons highlighted in green can be upgraded with this mod. We'll put that on our crossbow as well. Uh, 575. Let's see, the next thing I want to upgrade is lock picking to advanced. I need 3600 skill points to do that, so it's going to be a while. So with all that done, let's talk to Harley. About time you showed up. Iron and copper. The statue is copper on an iron frame, right? Password's enough, pal. Don't think you know something about the lady I don't. My dad did tours out here. I heard that you can get me inside. Depends. Get your man out, take back the statue, whatever. But I know the commander, and I don't want to see him get hurt. Here's a picture so you don't make a mistake. You can trust me. I'll take your word. Here's the key to the front entrance. Commander's not much of a soldier. He'll surrender as soon as he sees you. I need him alive because he's my main contact at the NSF. If he's dead, I don't have much of a business. Thanks. So that completes our secondary goal and awards us 150 skill points. And we got a new image as well, I think. Oh yes, and we got the key to the statue ruin on our nano keyring. Now we have an image of the terrorist commander. 
height 187 centimeters, weight 98 kilograms, eyes brown, hair none, which is weird because I'm seeing some hair right there, but oh well. NSF-1A3-ZB350, Leo Gold, NSF rank Colonel Special Operations, suspected residence Hell's Kitchen, contacts, in frequent contact with Jojo Fine, Juan Ivanovich Lebedev, and other sympathizers. Alright, that's straightforward enough. Let's keep talking to Harley and exhaust his conversation options. How do you know so much about the commander? He's my main contact in the NSF. I need him alive and out on bail. Unico will probably keep him in custody. At least he has a chance if he's alive. I warned him, you know. I said right to his face, don't take weapons into the lady. That makes you as bad as Unatko. Don't forget, it was the NSF that C4 the statue in the first place. Unatko's here to put the pieces back together. Ask me, I think the government did it. They want people to think the NSF are terrorists. I better get paid good for this. Remember, you said you wouldn't go in shooting. My dad used to say, if copper can get old and green and need repairs, the same with our liberty. Funny, and that was before the United Nations even had an army. I worked here one summer picking up people's trash. Rotten job. It used to be wall-to-wall -wall people out here from all over the world. Everywhere some other language you can't understand. Remember, you said you wouldn't go in shoot. If you don't promise to keep the commander safe, he won't give you the key. So inside here, nothing we haven't seen before. Flares, crowbar, knife, fire extinguisher. But there is a lady to talk to. You with Philbin? I get a cut for bringing him over. Tell me what you know about the NSF operation. I'm not that high level. The more elite troops, they're the ones that took over the ship and unloaded it into speedboats. I think we're supposed to be a diversion. A ship? That's all I know. The commander gave me a 10 millimeter clip, a box of 30 out 6 ammo, and some crossbow darts, and said keep your head down. <laughs> like I'm gonna take on your NATCO troops. Want them? You can add the clip for 175, the 30 out 6 for 300, and the darts for 50. But if I was you, I'd avoid a head-on attack altogether and not even use the key Philbin got. I'd go in the statue from the back. Less security that way. Uh, I'm not gonna buy any of her stuff, so... No thanks. Now, with, uh, with people who are trying to sell you things, you can go back into the conversation and buy them with your credits, so... There's no conversation to exhaust with them. Unless you buy all three items they're carrying, but... Conversation isn't worth my money when there are things I'll actually want to spend credits on later. So let's keep going. Let's just uh, sweep around the other way to finish clearing the outer grounds before we do anything else. Now I'm out of charger ammo and I haven't trained low-tech weapons yet, so I don't think the... Might be able to bag these guys with the baton, though. Oh, he got me. <clears throat> Let me just experimentally try to get this guy with the baton. See how many whacks it takes if I catch him unawares. If I can get him without using charger ammo, then I can save it up for guys that I know require it. Well, this is just an experiment. Ooh, pig! This guy wasn't just a grunt. What's going on? Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. So until my low-tech weapon skill is higher, maybe I should prioritize training that over getting lockpick to advanced. Let's try and get the guy just the same. I'm trying to save your life, fool. Don't you know that? Ah! You learn something new every day. I did not realize that I could instantly get them into running mode by managing a headshot. That's good to know. So
So he gave us a sniper rifle, not interested. Knife, not interested. Tech goggles, not interested. Now, if you're not playing non-lethal, I should say this. It makes the most sense to take the get gun from Paul at the beginning, simply because the get gun takes longer to get than anything else. You can get your own crossbow and sniper rifle from the guys here on the island. So, let's roll up on this guy, shoot him in the head. Hit him though. Good. All right, good. So he's got more tranquilizer darts and yet another crowbar. I, I remain uninterested. The terrorist we dropped has more 10 millimeter ammo and yet another knife. Not interested in that either. I may have to try and drop everybody non-lethally just because they have items. I hadn't thought about that aspect of it. That dead trooper friend has no gear to speak of. No a headshot can get the terrorists, so. Be careful. The NSF has set up patchwork security systems here. The headshot also makes them drop faster, which is nice. So this one, just another basic grunt, 10 millimeter ammo and yet another knife. Now the bot, I don't think, is connected to the security system here. Let me make sure before I waste any gear trying to take the it down. The NSF put a commercial grade security bot in this area. You can either avoid its patrol route or, if you're feeling lucky, try and take it out with the EMP grenades or explosives. I wouldn't recommend taking it on with small arms. Thanks, Alex. So let's see if it's connected to the security system right quick. Remember, we have the login from the data cube. NSF001, password smash the state. We can turn off the camera. Turn off the camera, and I'm gonna unlock the door, but not open it. Yeah, we can't. Can't mess with the bot from there. That's what I thought. I thought so. Damn. Okay, so we'll go back to the security system after I have dealt with the bot. I need to get these NSF guys before I do that, though. This one should be the only one left out here. the headshot. Oh, there too. Okay, that's fine. Oh. 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 Damn! Oh. Well, let's move a little faster while I know the bastard's back is good.
I got this one. don't think the bot will react to that body, so let's just give it a chance to patrol out of that area before we mess with it anymore. How does that sound? We've almost made a full loop of this ground level, which is nice. Anyway, the body just has 10 millimeter ammo, but I want to move it. until I see the bot go by to the left. There we go. Now we can pull him out of there. Let's drop this guy next. Can't quite remember which way he turns. Alright, he's got more tranquilizer darts, his dead friend over here by HQ doesn't have anything, and that's a full circuit around the island. So let's heal the damage I took in the swim to the sunken ship. Let's see what we can find out here. Let's take care of this last little center area before I mess with anything else. So here we've got a new prod charger, another copy of the data cube we found in that underground storage area. And I also need to go back here. Well, I should probably take the... Yeah, I'm going to take the trooper down first. Deal with the bot very last. Let's follow the bot. I'll handle the trooper while it's messing around over there. I just need to take him down. Tranquilizer will work like it has on all of his buddies so far. Wait until the music settles down. I'm not sure where he ends up. Okay, there he is. He's just got more 10 millimeter ammo. Now that he's down, I can focus on the bot. We don't have any EMP grenades yet, so we're just going to have to take it out. Inside here, there's some flares on the ground, and there's a box which will take two picks to open. I'm still not inclined to do that. So let's, let's shut off the cameras first, first. There we go. Actually, I won't do anything besides turn off the cameras, because I have a key to the doors anyway. So there's some more flares here by the door, and inside the crate is another lockpick. Only our second one. I hope I'm out of range of the bot. I think I am. Now, I want to deal with the bot. I'm going to do so now that everyone is safely out of the way with this other TNT crate. We'll carry that all the way over. I'm hoping I can get here and toss the crate into its path. I'm gonna 
crouch in range and just blow it open. When the timing is right. Quiet. I was a little too close, but no worries, we have a med bot right over here. Now the island is clear. So... Before we go tackle the statue... Remember that crate that's in there. I am going to want to open it, but let's go check out Unatco headquarters first. So we've got a chopper leaving. This bunker is the actual HQ building. I don't think there's anything around it. Let's talk to this guy. Freight base is under lockdown until the danger's gone, Agent Denton. Right. How you guys holding up? UNETCO Command made us pull back. I guess for Gunther's sake. What's the deal? We're ready to go in. Give him the aggressive response. Doesn't matter. I figure it doesn't matter if I lie about my intentions. I can't speak for Command, but I'm gonna clean the place out. I hear you. Natalie's right. You nanoogs are born and bred killers. I do my best. Better load up. There are some crates of ammo stashed in the antenna shaft behind the helipad. Might also want to check out the comm van next to it. The code's 0451. Thanks. I won't let you down. My tactic, when there's no cover like this, is to pick them off from 50 or 100 paces with a scope. What do you think? I scored an extra one from a couple of thugs we dropped down by the dock. You can have it for 700 credits. I also picked up some 10mm ammo and some crossbow tranquilizer darts. Say, 200 for one and 60 for the other. Shouldn't you turn that stuff over to the quartermaster? Sure, I will. As long as command has the rest of us on parade drill, someone might as well put this hardware to use. I'm gonna buy the tranquilizer darts. Here's 60 for the tranquilizer darts. Time to clean house. So he gave me a note that the comm van code is 0451. You want to choose the aggressive response because if you don't, he doesn't give you that code. Granted, there are other ways to get it, but it's nice to just have. So... Let's see, how many credits do I have? 440. I do want the scope, but I can't afford it yet. So let's check out the comm van itself. I don't think there's anything on its exterior either. No, there's not. Let's talk to this guy. Welcome aboard, Agent. Everything was clear an hour ago. Then, boom! My orders are to hang back. If I catch sight of the NSF commander at the top of the statue, I'm gonna take a shot. Screw Manderley. The thugs must be desperate to attack us here. I don't like just standing around, but orders are orders. Whatever was in that barge, the NSF sure wanted it bad. Careful, Agent. Rebels are crawling all over the place. I've got this area secured. I don't like just standing around, but orders are orders. So there's a crowbar here. Inside this crate is another multi-tool. Inside this crate is another lockpick. And we now know the code is 0451. Spares us the use of the multi-tool, which is nice. You get 25 skill points for coming in here. On, up here is a med kit. On the desk are some tranquilizer darts. Under the desk is a data cube. Attention night shift. Van camera system login, same as old login. Satcom. New password. Unatco underscore 001. P.S. We will beat you at darts on Saturday, suckers. Well, now that we know the login, let's do it. Satcom. Unatco 001. I turn off the cameras just because, unlock and open the hatch outside, and then with the others, I'll just turn off the cameras and leave it at that. Now down here, we can find, in addition to a 50 skill point exploration bonus, we find our first EMP grenade, which we will want to hold on to. 
That actually makes me regret taking the bot out because I could use the extra TNT to blow open the crate. No matter, I think we're we'll some thugs. You better load up. I'll check back with you later. He just jumped into that conversation without me clicking on him. Anyway. Per everyone's recommendations, we are not going to go in through the front door, even though we do have the key. Although it might be worth our while to unlock it. But, with all that accomplished, I don't think I can lift these explosive barrels yet. No matter. I've already got a backup plan to get in there if I can't find a, another TNT crate. So we want to head all the way back over here. That bot is our friend, in case you didn't know. Nobody left standing out here, which is the good news. We want to climb up these crates. Which is eminently possible. Use the metal ones as steps where you have to. And then we do want to start being quiet because we're getting back into active patrol zones. But I have recharged my prod, which is nice. Ah, good, there's another TNT crate, so... I'll bag these two guys and then take it down. Who was that? The worst I didn't timing. see a uniform. Maybe I should just crank him. Certainly easier, and I have more ammo. Take that shot, though. Let's get him from out here without even getting onto the statue. That seems even cleaner, doesn't it? Now we can just crouch here, wait for the music to settle, which will mean that he's down. Okay, he's got. He's just got another. 10 millimeter clip and another knife. Let's do... Drop his body down there. No one should find him there. Let's get rid of that stupid knife. Well, no. I'll leave that as it is. Alright. A shame, isn't it? The French terrorist group Silhouette claims that France was wrong to give the U.S. the statue. We think they planned the bombing. So let's take this. Make sure you crouch if you're going to toss it anywhere. Hmm. Okay, new plan. Let's drop it next to our little step ladder, like so. Again, make sure you crouch if you're gonna toss a TNT crate around. So let's get this back down to the front. There we go, that's all I wanted. As long as you're crouched while you drop it, unless you, you know, throw it off an edge like this, it shouldn't explode. So, let's just work our way down now. I 
ever so carefully. Let's hope we can make this drop. Ooh. Very good. I think I took a smidgen of damage. Oh, no, I didn't. Good. Okay. Now we ought to be ready. Let's just carry this bad boy back to that chest. Save our precious lockpicks. At this juncture, it would take two to open it. It's certainly not worth two lockpicks, but it does have something good inside. This is probably the best first level of any game in history. It just, I'm, it's incredible. I love Deus Ex. So, let's back off now. I think this is a safe distance. And let's blow open the chest. Inside we find 30-06 ammo and what I wanted was the hundred credit shit. Now we'll get back to work. Securing the knowledge that we've left no stone unturned here on the ground level. That brings us to 540 credits, which is still not enough to buy the scope. But, let's go ahead and bag this guy, if we can. I say, I doubt I can hit him from that distance. Him I may just have to roll up on and take down with the charger. Plus, I need to hear Alex's message here again. More darts, another crowbar. Did Alex already talk to me? Oh, I guess he did. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Alright, let's clear the rest of this level now. Over here to the s on the south, we have no guards, just a medical supply crate. contains another med kit. Over here we have two more guards, which I will want to take down. So if I get above them, I think I should be able to... Operate. Something moved. Could be the law. That's this game's equivalent of a green alert. Music to settle. Like always. Let's bag this guy now. Thirty P. He's the other one we saw, if that wasn't obvious. This one just has more 10 millimeter ammo and another knife. After the upgrades, by the way, our crossbows 
Reload time has dropped 10% to 1.8 seconds, and the accuracy has increased by 9%. Well, the mod raised it by 4% to 69%, so awesome. Ow, where did he go? There he is. Same deal. 10 millimeter ammo and a knife. Let's see what else is on this level. I think there might be one more guard. That could also be it. I think there's one more guard. And another TNT crate. Always handy. Keep that in mind if I find something else that I need to unlock. Once he puts his weapon away, you're safe. Ooh. So you can just watch for that. So he's got more tranquilizer darts and yet another knife. Now that, I think, is everyone up here. Yes, very good. Let's finish off the outside of the statue before we do anything else. Although, we may actually be finished. I think this level is empty. And I think the next level, the exterior is empty too. <clears throat> and I want to enter the statue on the level below this one. But, yeah. Uh-oh. Well, I got past him fast enough. The other three entrances have gas grenades in them, which I guess I can go ahead and disarm and collect while I'm here. Then I'll head back down, enter through the second level, Make sure to rescue Gunther. And then come back up. Alright, there's two. One more. Of course, the guards have the other one covered. Actually, let's... Let, yeah, let's take the second level entrance. Go in through here. I was gonna say, I thought there was a guard down here. I'm sure enough, there he is. Let's try and get a headshot with the guard. Perfect. So, more 10 millimeter ammo and another knife. Hooray. With him down, we arrive at this stairway. So, just to show you, if you go up this thing a couple of levels, you end up right back at those guys. But we need to tackle the ground level because we have a secondary goal to rescue an agent down here. So, let's do that first. We've already disabled this camera from outside, which gives us a lot of breathing room down here. Can't hit the guy from here, but... There we go. Let's just wait. He's running for the alarm, but I think... Oh. Ugh. His friend on the second floor spotted me, though. Let's take out the friend on the second floor first. That seems smarter. Assuming I can do it without alarms, which I think I can. Now let's get the friend down here. running for the alarm, but I don't think he's going to make it. Oh, 
Oh, he did. No, he didn't. He dropped just in time. That's perfect. I think Gunther is being held behind this laser-triggered alarm. If you don't want to set off the alarm, you can either hack the control panel in the doorway or find a way around. My blueprint of the statue shows a few air shafts. This security setup is strictly amateur stuff. Keep an eye out for ways to bypass it. These old pre-millennial buildings are riddled with ventilation shafts and maintenance tunnels. So with those guys down, we should be safe to open up the front doors. Let's loot out here before we do anything else. Now if you're damaged, the water fountain will heal you one point. I think you can hit it ten times to get the maximum healing out of it. Let's look at this desk. Here we can find a lamb, which is always useful to have, another lockpick, and another data cube, which is another copy of the two we've already found. So let's go up to the second floor before we move into the wing where they have Gunther. Here's the other terrorist we dropped. He just has more 10mm ammo and another knife. Up here on the second floor, I don't think there's too much to find. Another medical crate. And right next to it, a little something called the PS-20, which I won't bother carrying with me, but PS-20, weapon stats, ammo type NA, base damage 25 plus 10% equals 27, clip size NA, rate of fire NA, reload time NA, recoil 0.0, .0 base accuracy 100% plus 5% equals 100%, accurate range 900 feet, maximum range 1500 feet, mass 5 pounds, laser sight, scope, silencer, all NA, skill, weapons, pistol. The PS-20 is a disposable, plasma-based weapon developed by an unknown security organization as a next-generation stealth pistol. Unfortunately, the necessity of maintaining a false, small physical profile restricts the weapon to a single shot. Despite its limited functionality, the PS-20 can be lethal at close range. So it's a, it's a cool little weapon if you're not playing non-lethal, but it's a lethal weapon, so if you are playing non-lethal, you're not going to use it. Down the other staircase, there's nothing. Hold off hacking the ATM, because you can't interact with it again after you hack it, and we can actually find a legitimate login or two to use before we do that. So I don't want to waste the multi-tool, so let's go through here instead. Turn your light off and crawl down this ventilation shaft. down here. This first room, you don't want to mess with, but it's got a new item in it. Some soy food. Fine print. Seasoned with nanoscale mechanochemical generators, this TSP, textured soy protein, not only tastes good, but also self-heats when its package is opened. I'm going to hold on to that for now as well. Down here is another multi-tool. I don't want to open that door just yet. Back here, we can find another PS20, another med kit, and a data cube. So many people use that ATM each day that it's busted 90% of the time. But if it's working, you might need some cash today for the pub crawl we've got planned in the city. Don't let the tourists get you down. See you there tonight, sweetie. Account number 230023, pin number 4558. Jonathan, your husband-to-be. P.S. I was serious last night. I really want to get married in the statue. We met there on duty and all our friends work there. Now... We can't get in that way, so... Let's head back around to the other door. Now, I am going to give Gunther my pistol. But because everyone is going to be unconscious before he comes out, it shouldn't matter much. Ah, yes. I still don't want to use a lockpick if I can help it. 
things. Maybe I can haul a TNT crate down here. While I'm out here, I might as well take care of the ATM. Let's go over there and do that. So the account number was 230023 and the PIN was 4558. We can withdraw 200 credits, let's do. Now, let's back out, let's hack the ATM for the first time. Warning, unauthorized access will be met with excessive force. Please enter your account number and PIN, PageNet Global Banking System. Oh, okay, there, there is nothing to withdraw anyway. Then after you've hacked it, sorry this terminal is out of service, error 06MJ12. We p apologize for the inconvenience, but would gladly service you at any of the other 231,000 PageNet banking terminals around the globe. But I think that's enough credits to buy the scope. It is. So let's run out and do that, too. It's taking care of all the loose ends behind us. I believe we can fit a scope on our mini crossbow, which will make it much more useful. You want to wax some thugs? I'll take the scope for 700. Just attach this baby to your pistol and you're in business. But I don't want to uh, waste the credits if it doesn't work. Good, yes. So I'll put that bad boy on my mini crossbow, and now it's got a scope. Obviously more useful at closer ranges, but better than nothing, for sure. And as we eventually raise our skill in pistol and load, yeah, in pistol, although that'll come later. That will become less and less of a problem. Now there are lots of ways through here. You can bypass the panel with multi-tools. You can use an EMP grenade to temporarily disrupt the lasers. And I'd rather just go through the door down here. Place it by the door. I believe I can blow it open. And hopefully I can do it without killing any guards. Although I will have to be careful of that. Sounds like I killed a rat. Can't worry too much about that. got the door open and we're behind the lasers now so oh, they will go for alarms if we let them so uh oh oops let's use the prod to drop this guy <laughs> More 10 millimeter ammo and another knife. Yahoo. Who's there? I think that was just a green alert, as it were. Yes, good. I remain uninterested in your knife, sir. As for the rest. If I try to tranquilize him, he'll go for the alarm, and I think he can get there in time with ease. I'll trank him too when he comes down here and turns around. Or prod him, rather, not trank him.
Come here, fella. Damn. Wait, quiet! I always forget to quick save when I get up to the moment of truth. Let's try this just to say, oh, okay. Gunther's in that room, one of our top agents. Alright, let's wait for him down here. And I would actually like to see if I can tranquilize him without letting him get to the alarm, just because. I've got way more tranquilizer darts than I do prod charges. Oh. Well, his buddy goes for the alarm if I try to tranquilize him, so... Prod it is. Maybe I can get his buddy with a tranquilizer at least and hold on to one charge. Very good. I don't know why it hit reload. I don't have anything to reload it with. Uh, more 10 millimeter ammo and yet another knife. Let's toss the knife as usual. Gunther will trip the alarm on his way out, but that doesn't matter, I don't think. Now this guy, I'm fairly certain I can just tranquilize. Let's just wait for the reticle to tighten up and nab him in the head. Wait, quiet! We got cops. Oh, I missed him. I hit the chair instead of his head. Let's aim more toward the front then. I swear I heard something. We didn't get him then either. Hmm. I may just have to get his attention and shoot him, but I really don't want to do that. That time I forgot about the camera. Yeah, let's just get his attention and shoot him. Maybe I can hit him from here. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Got it. wait for the alarm to go away because the nice thing is there's no one to respond to the alarm now so it doesn't really matter if he hits it so we do want to avoid getting sighted by the camera so we want to run over and crouch behind the desk from here we can operate the terminal I think it's the same login and password it is, very good, so we can turn off the camera, we can unlock and open the door, there's no one for Gunther to mess with, which is nice, and there's some goodies in here, there's another baton, another accuracy mod, which I will, again, put on the crossbow, a newspaper, a lesson for our president, Family News Network, Dave Wary, editorial. When the other kids on my block elected me king of the world, a political office opened thankfully only to eight-year-olds, I moved quickly to consolidate my power. I declared that all subsequent elections were forbidden, that the office of king was reserved to me and my descendants for all eternity. I don't remember what morsels of political philosophy were hurled at me. That ain't fair, perhaps, or you can't do that. My rebuttal? Yes, I can. I'm king. All subsequent debate involved rocks. 
Even Gretchen, green-eyed, lovely Gretchen, held me pinned to the ground as the others asserted their own right to the throne with whatever stones happened to be within easy reach. With a 35% approval rating after the UN funding fiasco, President Mead should reflect that these children and millions of other free thinkers have reached voting age. Who wants to cast the first stone? Over here, we find another soy food, another fire extinguisher, and a couple of sinks. So, again, since we don't have to worry about alarms, I'll just cross the lasers. That terrorist, like his buddies. Uh -oh. Okay, maybe I shouldn't sound the alarm. Oh, I still need to do this. No problem. Same deal again. Off, unlocked, open. Alright, let's take the long way around to loot the body. Again, we'll drop the knife. Now we will go free Gunther. He's gonna ask for a pistol. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna give it to him because it's harmless. It's easy enough to find another one. And he'll like me better. Since everyone is down, he won't get to kill anyone with it. Which is kind of what I want. So let's rescue Gunther. Glad you're not hurt, Agent. Command should not have left us to be surrounded. Risk is part of the job. I think you lucked out this time. Agent Navarra and I were ready to go in, but for no reason they said pull back. I do not retreat. Please give me a weapon and move out of the way. As you wish. Take my pistol. That will be adequate. I will secure this level. You proceed up the stairs to the command center at the top. So freeing Gunther completes our other secondary goal and gives us another 150 skill points. We're up to 950. Another, there's a new item in here. It's a bottle of wine. A nice bottle of wine. Very straightforward. Also useless. So for whatever reason, Gunther doesn't trip the laser alarm. But we still will, so let's go around one more time. The bottom of the statue is clear now, so we can just roll all the way up the stairs and deal with what few guards are remaining on our way to the top. This game doesn't neatly divide into missions the way Thief did, so... I'm wondering where I'm going to take breaks. I think every primary goal might be a good way to do it. They found a shipment? Yeah, we got the whole supply. You can see the ship's lights crossing the bay. Guess y'all were right. So why are we pulling out? Mike's on the horn. Jojo wants a lead on the distribution network. Yeah, we don't have enough men to protect what we've got. That's what Jojo wants. I wonder. How does a guy with a tattooed forehead get to be an NSF colonel? Pardon me, but back in Alabama, we wouldn't let a man who wears earrings plan a military operation. I'd watch what I say about Jojo. He's got a temper. He's a punk and he's gonna get us all killed. The NSF is strong because it represents everyone's interests. Yeah, yeah. So, after that enlightening conversation... Let's drop them both. I don't think there are any alarm panels up here, so I'll just trank them and run. They found That's us. him. He's a cop. Ah! Oh, damn. Ah! Alright, let's be a bit craftier about it this time. Let's shoot from back here so I can dodge to the side. 
Huh? I got this one. God damn it. All right, that should be it. Oh, there they both are. Good. So I have retrieved my pistol and found another knife. The thug has more tranquilizer darts and another crossbow. Or crowbar, not crossbow. Those guys down. Check and make sure there's nothing in this inner hallway. There's not. I've already disarmed the gas grenade, so nothing left but to head upstairs. Gunther has re-established contact. He says you helped him escape. Good work. So at the entrance to UNATCO HQ, I'll call that a video. Some news, JC. The NSF targeted a shipment of the plague vaccine Ambrosia. We can't locate it. See if the leader will surrender when you reach the command post. We'd like to interrogate him. We got 150 skill points in a progress bonus. Brings us to 1100. I may want to train low tech at the first opportunity so I can knock people out with the baton. Let's get out of here. I'm standing my ground. Someone dripped the alarm downstairs. They're closing in. This is it, Private. We knew it might come to this. What good are we to the NSF if we end up dead? If you NATCO breach the perimeter, then it's already too late. Get ready to fight. So you creep over behind these guys. Uh, there's another candy bar, which stacks, so I'm gonna drop the soy food to save inventory space. You just wanna bring... Is someone there? Two food items with you when you go. Uh, I can swear I heard something. <laughs> I didn't realize they'd hear me drop it. I know I heard something. Let's get one guy. Fascist. Should have done a better job keeping the other guy in mind. Let's get out of here. Who was that? I didn't see a uniform. Quiet. I think we got cops. credits I got this one okay there he is more 10 millimeter ammo and another knife go ahead and drop the soy food now since I know I will be able to find a candy bar upstairs. That one has also just got more 10 millimeter ammo and a knife. With that, I think we've knocked everybody out, which is good. There's no one for the troops behind me to kill. Let's grab the other candy bar, ignore the cigarettes. Let me check this balcony. Another PS20 and some flares out here. And all the way upstairs, we will find the commander. Easy. We want you to take this one alive and conscious. Find out what you can about the shipment, then turn him over to one of the troopers. Alrighty. 750 skill points awarded in a critical location bonus. Brings me up to 1850. And I tell you what. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade low-tech weapons.
to trained. That should hopefully let me do a better job knocking guys out with the baton. Up here there's a 40, a couple of flares, and after we talk to the commander, we'll pick up that augmentation canister. Don't shoot. I surrender. So you think you know better than FEMA what to do with this month's Ambrosia shipment? You're too late. It's on its way back to the people, and you can't do a damn thing about it. Don't pick the aggressive response here, so... Tell me about the shipment, and I'll order the troops to pick you up as a prisoner instead of a corpse. Ask away. We already won this round. Where are you taking it? We're just giving ordinary people the same chance to survive as the bureaucrats in Washington. You'll have to unload New York because the choppers would spot you at sea. I think the government made the plague on purpose to get rid of the population growth. Well done. I will pass on your orders to the troopers. Report back to base on the west side of the island. Mission complete. So that completes the primary goal, and our new goal is to report to headquarters on the west side of the island for a debriefing. But let's keep talking to the commander. He's got a lot more to say. Just answer the question. Don't believe me? It's all in the numbers. For a hundred years, there's been a conspiracy of plutocrats against ordinary people. You have a single fact to back that up. Number one. In 1945, corporations paid 50% of federal taxes. Now they pay about 5%. Number two, in 1900, 90% of Americans were self-employed. Now it's about 2%. So? It's called consolidation. Strengthen governments and corporations, weaken individuals. With taxes, this can be done imperceptibly over time. I guarantee you that the interrogation staff at UNACO will not be as forbearing as I am. Yeah, the secret police. You're just bullies for a completely illegitimate government in Washington. We will locate that shipment one way or another. The entire executive branch is hand-picked. Nineteen of the last 23 U.S. presidents have been members of the Trilateral Commission. The Trilateral Commission is financed by the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds. Don't tell me. That's a think tank. Anyone can become a member. But not everyone does. That's why they call it the secret government. You can't fight ideas with bullets. Did you ever ask what it's for? The surveillance? The police? The shoot on sight laws? Is that freedom? Your NATCO teaches teenagers to fight when it still seems like a game. And look at you. You're a killing machine. Who's the scary one, huh? Me or you? The more of us you kill, the more that secessionism lives in the hearts of the people. Ever wonder why big car companies pay 2% tax while the guys on the assembly line pay 40? Corporations are so big you don't even know who you're working for. That's terror. Terror built into the system. Corporations are so big you don't even know who you're working for. That's terror. Terror built into the system. So let's make sure and grab this augmentation canister. An augmentation canister teems with nanoscale mechanocarbon ROM modules suspended in a carrier serum. When injected into a compatible host subject, these modules augment an individual with extra sapient abilities. However, proper programming of, aug of augmentations must be conducted by a medical robot, otherwise terminal damage may occur. For more information, please see Face of the New Man by Kelly Chance. Can add, microfibril muscle or combat strength can only be installed with the help of a medbot. So, let's see what this guy has to say. The chief finally let us loose. We were right behind you and cut through them like a hot knife through butter. I'll take it from here. Good work, Agent. We're gonna lock this guy away for a long time. I'll take it from here. All right. Nothing left to do now but head back to base. And I'm gonna talk to people on the way down and just make sure that nobody has anything unique to say. I don't think there's anyone out on this level. Or the one below it. Am 
nice bench though. Yeah, I guess it's not too hard to mentally divide the game into missions. So. <laughs> Finally, let's go check the second level. Pretty sure there are some guys out there. But we've been everywhere, done everything, and so far we haven't had to use a single lockpick or multi-tool. That's the way you want it if you can help it. Oh, no one out here either. Guess I was wrong. I know there's some more guys in the statue and on the exterior grounds, though. Let's check the stairs before we move to the ground level. Okay. Still nobody. So we'll go all the way down, then. Down here, we find a couple guys. They sent us in to pick up the pieces. We've already searched the bodies and delivered the enemy munitions to the quartermaster. Don't worry about the bodies. We'll handle the cleanup. Someone should have put a slug in the commander's head. I guess you were just following orders up there. Benson touched off a gas trap. Nasty. Thanks for leaving a few for us. Stealth and speed. I guess that's why you're a special agent. We already have units in Manhattan. This isn't over yet. I'd sure like to find out what this was all about. We've got the situation under control. Heck of a first day, sir. All quadrants are secure. Nice work, Agent. Someone should have put a slug in the commander's head. There we go, finally. Benson touched off a gas trap. Nasty. He's got nothing unique to say. The lasers are disarmed now, but I don't think there's anyone back here. Nope. Alrighty. Let's head out then. <laughs> Let's see if people out here have anything new to say before we head back to HQ. Benson touched off a gas trap. Nasty. Mostly interested. I think, uh, Harley Philbin might have something to say to me now. I already know all the logins and passwords for most of the computers in the game, but if you're not supposed to have them yet, I won't use them. I'll hack the computers like you're supposed to. Alright, let's see if Philbin's got anything to say. If he's even still here, he might have just disappeared. Oh no, there he is, good. You're a man of your word. I like that. I'd better get my money on time. You're a man of your word. I like that. Not much, but there it is. Check the rest of the outdoors right quick. Just have to complete the circle. No one out 
here. There's another trooper. Probably has the same set all his buddies do, but we'll make sure. We already have units in Manhattan. This isn't over yet. Yep. Alright, let's check the south of dock. Paul's gone, but we can still talk to Corporal Collins and the boat pilot. Looks like we ran him off. All quiet down here. You should probably check in at HQ. Looks like we ran him off. Let's chat with the boat pilot. Looks like he's got nothing to say right now. And we'll make our way over to HQ. I'll end this section at the map change. So we'll see the first room of UNATCO headquarters as part of this section. We've got the situation under control. Paul's gonna talk to us. We've got the island secured. How did things look in the statue? The leader surrendered, so they were after Ambrosia. A month's supply for the East Coast. We think they've taken it back to the city. I didn't know UNATCO handled the Ambrosia distribution. Manderley will brief us shortly. UNATCO makes sure the limited supply of vaccine gets to government agencies and key industries. It's good to finally see some action. Just keep a level head. You're doing well so far. Now get inside. I'll meet you in Manderley's office, level two. So our new goal is to report to Manderley's office on level two. Get inside. I'll meet you in Manderley's office. Get inside. I'll meet you in Manderley's office. That's all Paul has to say. Any more cleaning house to do when we chase these sons of bitches into the city? Tell me what you need. I'll check back with you later. How about this guy? He's the last one. Way to go, sir. Gunther should have followed orders. I can't wait to get to New York and finish the job. These are new. Situation normal, sir. Gunther should have followed orders. Alright, let's head inside now. Here in the first room. That's 115 skill points and a progress bonus. 615 is not enough to do anything. Now that I have trained low-tech weapons, I think my next move is going to be getting to advanced in lockpicking and electronics. So, newspaper. Meade Bucks Congress, APR, Washington, D.C. Defying Congress for the third time this year, President Meade unilaterally paid the United States late dues to the United Nations. Like good tenants, we must pay our rent on time, he told reporters. Leaders of both parties criticized the move. Where does he get the cash? asked Senator Ryden, Democrat, Illinois clearly from some budget item yet to be approved by this Congress. The Republicans were no kinder. This council member has been betrayed, and so has America, said Senator Osno Liverpool, Republican California. The Congress came together to approve a UNATCO presence on U.S. soil, but we did not write a blank check. No, sir. A superpower does not pay rent. So let's talk to this guy. His name is Kevin Lloyd. Way to go, sir. I thought Gunther was a goner. It's my first day, too. I'm pretty excited. I was in your class at the academy. You probably don't remember. Manderley's office is on level two. He's expecting you. I've got to watch the doors. It's my first day, too. I'm pretty excited. So we've got a data cube here. Shannon, ammunition is disappearing again, so we're changing the door code for the comm van near the helipad. New code 0451. Alex. Nothing over here. The map changes down there. The last thing we can do, though, is hack the Manderley's computer. office is on level two. He's expecting it. There will be stuff to read, but... We have to watch our timer up here, so... 
No email today, but K. Lloyd, Anon, read Nobody Cares, was nationalizing industry. Michelle wrote, I just read that government regulators have nationalized the third airline this year, and the story was buried on the sixth page of the Manderley's Times. Manderley's office is on level two. He's expecting it. So we'll have to read this in stages. So we just wait here till our hack meter recharges. All right. No one seems to care that Uncle Sam is gradually taking control of every means of public transportation. The FAA claims that the airline's management botched the safety records. Lies! Lies! Have any of these records been made public? Do they even exist? It can take a long time to read things with computer-only trained, but it's worth it. I do have to say, I actually prefer Human Revolution's system of hacking. Just because it lets you read these emails. It, at the very least, it would be nice if you could download the emails after you hacked in so you wouldn't have to hack over and over again just to try to read. Ah, oh, well. Rule by executive order is now the norm. Goodbye, due process. What you have to remember is that we the people are members of a, of a republic and you must learn to trust those that you choose to represent you. The government is not a heartless machine running our lives. It is comprised of people just like you who deserve our trust and respect. The other me email is from J. Reed, subject visitors. Mr. Manderley tells me we're expecting a new agent. His assigned ID is J.C. Denton. Almost done now. Please enter him in the log when he arrives and alert me immediately. Thank you, Janice Reed. Alright, that's it. Let's head through the map change. Check in with Manderley on level 2. UNATCO HQ, United Nations Anti-Terrorist Coalition. This will be home base for the first part of the game. So I'll make a save there, make a new quick save. You'll enjoy the theme music after we get back. That's it for now. That was Liberty Island on Let's Play Deus Ex. Bye-bye.